Okay, so already we prepared three loader today to show you. So have many other friends asking for another model. We will prepare in the next show. Okay, so already we powered on this three loader. So first this one from MT. So uh, WA four eight zero with uh, this one is upgrade parts. So cutable to the blade fork. This one. So. Let's check. So this one, the bucket can be open. It's hydraulic control. So this, this three are upgrade parts. This one is the original bucket. We will operate one by one. And this one, it is from uh, XDRC. So with the fork, original bucket. So this one, the bucket changing is manual with pin. And uh, with light and sound system, this all have light and sound system. So XDRC WA470, this one it is from Jersey model. Uh, before I also showed and opened the cover, this one to, to put battery from rear side cover can be lifted up directly. So using magnet and the pin to secure. So all powered on, we will operate one by one. So you ask your question, maybe I will show you inside the details what you want to see. Uh, even the size, weight, and we can test with power, with load. Okay, so we can operate. Okay, so we can turn it. So all these three loaders we are using are C16 sound system. So only after start sound system you can start driving. This one we have two speed, neutral position gear, and uh, so light and sound. Uh, so no have differential lock. This one, uh, let's first see this one. Two speed, no differential lock. Yeah, something wrong with the pump. Let's see. I already operated before. Check it out. Next, we will start the pump. Looks like I got some wires. I will check. So the pump not starting. Where well, story happened? We power it on to see. Just now I was operating it. Okay, so the signal was not connected. It was battery, now it's lower than 12 volt. So pump was not starting, signal was not connected. After we start again, it's starting. So you can operate. Maybe later we will test with power. One by one, we can run it to see the load, how much is the limit and it will lean. I can lift up, I can lift up to show you. Just, yeah. After start the sound system, I can drive in. This one I was driving on the table with sand, so I have some dirt on it. Now it's low speed, neutral position, high speed. So at the differential, no differential lock, yeah, put low speed. Okay, let's put. For, for protection, we can put 
this one inside. So let's try her for her bit. Yeah, this one, each one is 2.5 kg. So the pump should not store for her. Maybe pump now load, it is around 40% maybe. So pressure is uh, only working around 2, 2.5 MPA. So now it's 5 kg. 每次我加的时候最好从下面加哈。不然会倾斜。Well, still, can I add? Now 7.5 kg. And the load, if we want more power, actually we can add the, mot the motor, the pump, more load, more power. Try again, maybe now we are, rear side will lift up. So, four piece, yeah, 10 kg. Not enough power? Some sure, ma? Try again. Yeah, that's 7.5 kg at uh, pump load. So we increased from 50 to 80. Now see if we can rise. Yeah. Maybe 7.5 kg, 8 kg, that's the limit because now 10 kg rear side already we are lift up. Before you hold, still can go in. Okay, you can run it with 7.5 kg. Don't just sit here. Just sit here. Just sit here. Okay, maybe we're loading it, unloading, it will fall on the table. Pump now 80%. Yeah, it's falling on the floor. 7.5 kg. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see a little bit details of this one. You can use this one. If I open the door, you can see the inside. You can use this one. So let's see the door, you can open it. This one, this side no have only the exhaust box filter like that. So have power switch here and pressure gauge. Before what we was running it uh, to 2.5 MPA. With pump load increase, if you put more weight, maybe around 3 MPA. So open this cover, we can see inside. Later we will run another one. Yeah, uh, the important thing is our customer want to see inside how it is looking like. We can open. Yeah, only on top we got these screws. I will open this one and uh, he will prepare, start running another one to show you. So receiver, pump, distribution well should be on or on there. It's big screw. Shut the WS volume. Next one we will run in the WA480 loader. That one with uh, upgrade hydraulic control fork and uh, bucket. It's more fun to operate. So this one, after this screw move, we only left this here, the power connection. So if we move these two screws, we can also remove this one. So I was lifting this one, a little bit of oil on the, on the plate. Clean a little bit. So this one also already removed the screw, so also it can take out directly. So here we see the receiver, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight channel of the control. This is the power connection. Downside, this is ESC. This should be for the drive system. And here we got this pump, so Italian pump. So mostly Lesu actuator also using this same pump. We can see the numbers on it. Uh, it's different from Lesu, it's different. Okay, so we got three distribution well and the servo it is here. And uh, this one, we open, should be filling up this 
here I have this cap, you open to fill up oil. So normally if we run it, it should be have air vent. So after filling up oil, we can change some other plug or get it loose. So inside the system, air can come out freely. So not we are rising pressure in the oil tank. Okay, pressure goes here. This one on the pump body, we have this one. It is for adjusting the oil pressure. So screw in, will be more pressure in the system. Okay, that's the inside. Downside, we have the speaker. It is under the motor under here. So IC16 sound system speaker, it is under there. Okay, I will move this away. We, let's see another one. So take Kessler. Move away. It's XDRC loader, WA470. So from the size, they are all 1 to 14 scale, so size almost the same. If you want specific size, how wide, how long, can measure for you. This one, before I have make a video, I opened the battery chamber, change the receiver to use Paladin EV radio, so not assemble back yet. Same RC16 sound system. This one originally the factory put inside a driver. So it is occasionally different driver. Okay, also this one door can open, you can see the driver inside. So steering all controlled by two cylinder each side and the one cylinder for the bucket. Two cylinder for the arm. So, so this one is a bucket for changing it is manual. How to lift it up. Uh -huh. Long time no touching it, this one already. It's uh, a clip already open, need to fix. Hook it up. So we not what's hard. Ah, through P, didn't know. This angle too much, downside is touching, so that's why. Touching the arm. Open it to put this one, the spring, it is. I remove the eight, need to take out. Spring from this side to lock it. This one have a lock, so it can be opened. And then we lock it again. Okay, we change it. Hook up on the bar. Lock it. Okay, I'll operate. Later we have a wood plate. Well, that's uh, how a driver can get it done. Yeah. Uh, let's see the size if there. Yeah, this size is not same. Can can be one side. If you put middle size, not exactly same. So a little bit left or right can put inside. Can you <laughs> Only experienced driver, yeah. After put, we can also use this one to test. Some hobby. We will check normally how much load it is, so we can increase it to see. 
So, two point five kg. Let's put in the middle. Right, right, that's very easy. Let's try directly five kg. So we can hear how see how. Okay, still power enough. Seven point five. Pump load maybe later we will check factory setting pump load how much percentage. Okay, lift up. So pressure it's when running it's two point two MPA. Two point five. Let's rise to put one more again. So four piece ten kg. Still can rise. Let me see how much difference. Yeah, if you put one more, this rear side will lift up. Already rear side very light. We can try. Yeah, this will slip down. Okay, keep like this. Okay, still can go in. 10 kg means this one more weight than that one. So rear side not lean up. Okay, so put down. Let's see a little bit of, and we're not rising the pump load yet. So around pump load around 70%. We can see a little bit of the inside. This one before I open the battery chamber. So lift up, we can see pressure gauge, the pump and the motor. So, these two should be turning. One turning, one ESC. Okay, so only two ESC. One is for pump, one is for the driver. Uh, not, I'm not sure which one is for the motor pump. Let me check. They are brushless motor, so not easy to tell which. This one should be for the motor, uh, this pump. So pressure got sweet distribution valve. This one, the servo it is bigger. Let's see how much is it writing. So. It's not writing how much kg. This is how much kg? Not writing. It may be around 35 kg. Yeah, 30 kg around. So the size is a little bigger than the JZ model one, the servo. Also the valve, bigger size. So from this side, we can open, uh, can check the pressure. Here, pressure gauge, you can see clearly here. So when running. Sound system, it is under here. Uh, later we will see. So if you want the speaker, I, I'm sure it is under there. Before we, so I see board, it is here under the receiver. Receiver already I lift up. So all the wires we can pull out to see. That's the sound system with the glue was secured. I open it. So in, in my another video, you can see I set up, change the receiver with Paladin EV radio for operation. Only to show our customer how to get it done. So pressure gauge, we can run it to show you. So four MPA, almost four MPA. So here we have the pressure adjusting the pressure release valve. If you screw in a little bit, can increase the pressure, but that's enough. Yeah, no need to risk it for bursting out the oil hose. Four MPA enough for the operation. Okay, let's see how many channel. So this one already used the nine channel of all the control. So from RC16, the board, we still have many other plugs. So the LED light is already all used, still have three plugs for other upgrade functions. RC16, if you get familiar with it, you can see you can connect many uh, lights, uh, additional speaker, and even smoking and uh, vibration motor. Okay, that's the inside. What more to see? So, uh, speaker, if here, this rear side cover have two screw, one side one. So with nut, if you open, you can see on there, that's the speaker. Okay, that's this one. If you want to see, we can weight up to show the exactly weight and the size. Yeah, leave it here. 
Okay, so for compare the size, you can see directly. So it is around 26 centimeter. And uh, for the length from the fork to the rear side, yeah, should be around 73, 74. Yeah, we can check again for the weight. Compare one by one, yeah? So for living shoe, later we will try to do better, change better internet and uh, maybe using computer and uh, better equipment to be high quality. So this one is 18.9 uh, kg, almost 19 kg. Okay, so also we can show another one, 19 kg. This one already the cover open. Anyway, we can weigh it. The JZ C95. I will hold a little bit. So 14.6 kg. A little bit touching. So 15.3 kg, a little lighter, and only we remove the cover, yeah, half kg around. So remove it, we will see that uh, with upgrade parts, WA480, move it away. This one already unlocked, so we have to lock it. Wait, this hose disconnected, quick connection disconnected. Yeah, this is a So here we have two holes here. That's for the upgrade parts. One channel of oil connection, so that you see this one was not secured. Need to push in and lock it. Yeah, locked. Now this this lock ring push it down to lock it. So that's secured. If not secure with pressure, it will open. So that's why all your coming. Need to clean the hose. So this one no have two speed gear. So the speed controlled directly by the stick control the motor, how much the running speed. No changing gear. Later we can change to each one to show you. The good thing is that one, what we was trying, cannot put to middle yet because size is different. So this one, you can change the position of the, the fork, how much wider it is, so easy control. For different size, even very smaller, you can control it. Yeah. So for our C16 sound system, we have different engine sound you can choose. So switch off the sound system and uh, pushing all the way for driver, already go to settings. Volume adjustment, decrease volume. Volume increase volume, increase volume, engine sound. Another engine sound, Another one, so you can choose many different. I like the tractor sound. For other load also, same sound system can do same. Volume, engine sound, and uh, language, different turning light on and off, backward warning turn on and off. 
，随便选一个，我们继续。Let's the horn sound. <laughs> It's also used for tank, so have the fiery machine gun and the cannon. Okay, this one. Exit Pushing again, two seconds. Access settings. We start sound system to drive. Let's change for the bucket. Okay, unlock it. So after all, inside we have the cylinder. Downside we have two holes, yeah. This downside one channel is for the quick connection with the pin to lock it. So you see downside we have these two holes. One cylinder portion we are lock with these pins. Okay, disconnect, release pressure. Every time disconnect quick connection well, how to release pressure? Yeah, but pump is running, not release actually. Need to stop the pump. Anyway, we are coming out a little bit of oil. Need to push the lock and take out the hose. Okay, remove it. Let's see with this one. So the hose should be from top. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, now lock. Now it is locked. Okay, then connect it. Yeah, looks like this one have a little bend. Lean it will be more easier to connect. So this hose, let a better I change the connection. The hose have a little bend. When operating, maybe touching it, bent it the hose. A little damage on the hose. Okay, lock. So now can operate. The pump running at mix for this bucket. Now it should be around. No oil going. Can I see the charger? Yes, I know. I know the charger. Let's see the big one and then open it. This new one may be a little stuck. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. This hose is too long. This hose is bented. I need to cut the hose, make it shorter. You see, after bending, oil not coming. That's the problem. Need to cut shorter and then connect it so the hose will not bend so much. This need to... So from factory, it's this length. Later, I need to cut and make it shorter. Yeah, we find the problem, the hose too long and get bended. Here we have, uh, inside we have uh, this one, you see have a clip there. Yeah, we can clip it, not bend it. Now we can operate maybe normally. That's a big angle to open, lean the bucket. You can take it out. Let's take it out. Later, we will test the, do the blood. Let's first test how much power I have for this one. Take it out. I'm going to pour more. For protection, yeah, not to scratch the paint. OK, one by one, let's try. The pump. At mix control for the bucket tilting and the arm rising and down, I'm putting the load at 50%. For more power, we can increase it. 5 kg. I believe this one rear side is more heavy. 1.5. 50% of the pump. The pump is running quietly. Yeah? Maybe we can increase a little bit. Anyway, the power for, for loading, because this is metal, yeah? 7.5 kg. It's, quite heavy. If you're loading rocks, mud, 
It's less weight. Yeah, let's try again. That's some kind of sense like Uh huh. Rear side is not heavy enough for 10 kg. So only around maybe 7.58 kg. So the rear side will not rise up. Okay, let's run it like this. So you try it on cap point. <laughs> You're falling on the ground, we are break. Okay, so we will change to the, to the blade. So this one loader, you can use many functions. Fork, do the blade, bucket. Try it, it. Oh, you can try. Release pressure, then we open the quick connection. Oh. Unlock it. So see from top, when using the quick connection, you see the cylinder and the lock. It's how it's moving. Okay, we will lock it. You see, here's the pin, it is locked. Connect. Secure. Okay, also secure the hose, not get vented. Okay, now can operate. Can push it directly, I, I, I think. It's 5 kg, maybe you can easily push it. Let's put more to see. Find it and take the move by me. Ah, three or four. Let's put ten kg directly. Yeah, ten kg. Try to push. Maybe you know using this one because the edge is stuck in the this protection. Well, that's very easy. So for you pushing the mud, rock, sand, it could be very easy. After pushing all together, then use the bucket to load in and unloading with this one easier. The bucket can open and tilt in, unloading to the truck, dump truck. So all play together, much fun, yeah? Okay, so this one, let's see a little bit the details. Uh, the cabin downside have the handle. So inside we have the screen. The screen it is only showing the, uh, now it's showing battery voltage and the pressure. I will run in the pump to see the pressure. Yeah, pressure maybe not so accurate. Pressure only showing around the one MPA. Should be around three MPA should be. Okay, so after open, downside, let's see. Turn around, let's see the cover directly lift up. So we have the receiver there. That's the radio. And uh, this plate, if we open, because not easy, it's blocked by the receiver. We have to cut the wires so to remove it. So downside, we have this, that's the pump motor. And the suction line, it is transparent hose. From here, transparent hose. Turn around. So we have the power switch and uh, 
If we want to adjust the oil pressure, here we can put the screwdriver downside. That's the pressure release well. Flat screwdriver. So let's see the pressure. Actually, inside no have pressure gauge. We have the pressure valve. Distribution valve is here, but the servo, it is under there. Servo is downside valve on the top. So servo, it is under this position. OK, that's the inside of the engine. So if we put it back, let's see. So this mud guard, if we see from the rear side, also this one, it is metal one, but the rear side, it is plastic. Cabin, it is all metal, only the window, it is plastic. So what is plastic, let's see, only the rear side mud guard and the window. Others, it's all metal. Even for this, yeah, not easy to feel. Yeah, only this hub for the light is also plastic. OK, let's see the weight and size. Any questions you can ask? You remember some more one here, OK. OK, zero. The weight is 15.7 kg. Put it down. And this is the size. With the do the blade. Yeah, it should be around till here, 67. And for the wideness, it's around 25.5. Okay, that's all the functions and uh, the size compare all together. So that's all. So we put the load together, you can compare them. Well, next time, Maybe we, to be more specific, we just prepare one loader, one actuator to show you all the details, the, the running radio settings inside the details. So you can recommend, you can ask your questions. Let me know how you like me to show, show you the models. So I will prepare the next live show, yeah. Thank you, that's all for today, live in show.